has been Hotel Season 1, Episode 3 on 4 is a bizarre episode with very interesting characters and weapons that kill angels. In this video we will talk about the stories of other new characters and why the person who killed the angel killed the angel who he really was and with what weapons he killed him. If I just give you this information you will understand how important he is. In episode 1 he is one of the fallen angels who took the angel's head off. We will also talk about which episode Lucifer will come, who will voice him. But this is my opinion. It was as if episodes 3 and 4 were not as effective as the other episodes. I'm curious about your opinions on this subject as well. Let's talk about my videos reviewing other episodes. Honestly, I saw some weird theories in my videos that received more than 200 comments in total. But don't worry my friends, I read almost all of them and answer many of them. Greetings to those who write comments under these videos. At the same time, I would like to thank those who come to my Discord water and those who produce theories in this field. In this video, I will do it together with my followers who tell me the comments of people who produce theories and the details I missed. So don't forget to write your comments, questions and thoughts about this episode and the characters. Just as a reward for my efforts, you can like the video and express your opinions about this cartoon series in the comments. If you are not subscribed to my channel yet, you can subscribe. Don't forget to come to my Discord server for chat and theories and welcome to my channel and video. In my last video, I theorized that Alastor was planning something and that he had a connection with Lilith and people who liked it found it logical. Because especially in the meeting that Alastor went to, in his conversation with the Zestial Overlord, he says the following sentences. I just took a well-deserved leave. This sentence further fuels the belief that he might have a connection with Lilith. Let's talk about Zestial, a strange being that we see in this episode, who is feared by everyone who sees him. Zestial is a very wise overlord who recommends a logical approach and we can understand this from the following sentence. When they threw the severed head of the angel on the table and said, let's go to war. Zestiel said, we don't know how this disappeared. Maybe it was not by the hand of a demon. If we run to war without knowing, won't they cleanse all of hell for daring an uprising? When we analyze the character in this context, the results are quite interesting. Zestial speaks in an archaic dialect, reminiscent of early modern English. She has a very sophisticated way of speaking and usually keeps her temper, rather than getting angry easily as Velvet mocks her. He loudly sips his tea to interrupt Velvet mid-sentence before insulting her even though she is shown to be somewhat petty. This behavior and the way he speaks in English is something a friend of mine and Sar from the Rod team told me that this overlord died around 1500 and is the oldest living sinner. His fame is so great that demons outside the overlords fear him, hiding or cowering whenever he passes by. The sight of him would cause a civilian to set himself on fire out of fear. As befits his advanced age, Zestial is extremely patient and cautious and tells Velvet that the exorcists should not act immediately, despite being given proof that he can be killed for fear of possible repercussions. He is friends with Lucifer and Carmilla. Carmilla is a completely different kind of character because she's a fallen angel. Carmilla was an angel who, 
after her fall from heaven, sold her soul to Lucifer for unspeakable powers on the condition that she would watch over the pride ring, carry out assassination missions, and perform menial tasks for the king of hell. Eventually, he founded his own private company, known as Carmine Industries, which manufactured and marketed angelic weapons, gradually earning him a status that made him feared and respected by all classes of demons. He was recognized as the head of the table among the overlords and enjoys their full respect, fear. In chapter 3, in their conversation with Zestiol, we see some weapons. These are glowing weapons, holy weapons that can kill even angels. We already learned that the person who killed the angel was Carmilla, but the reason is quite meaningful. She says that she killed to protect her own daughters and that she would do anything for them. In this context, we understand this. That angel found her daughters and was about to kill them. Carmilla decapitated that angel to protect her daughters. Of course, this is a big problem, because if angels can be killed, everybody wants to fight this war. But it's a battle between heaven and hell, a conflict that no one can win. When Carmilla sings, she says that no one will survive this, both cities will suffer great losses. What I don't understand is what the god of this universe is doing. I guess he prefers to remain silent while all this is happening. He had already left the seat of godhood to the Grim Reaper. That's why all these massacres are happening. Anyway, he'll probably make his presence felt in the upcoming episodes. Let's talk about when we will see Lucifer and who will voice him. He will meet us starting with episode 5. He will also have a conversation with Alastor. The person who voices him is the one we all know. Ali Seyitolu, that is, the person who dubbed Farouk. Now this will be a little criticism, but Ali has a tone of voice more suitable for funny dubbing. Dubbing a character that should be feared like Lucifer may perhaps kill our fear and respect for Lucifer. The voice of Zestial has a more full and fearful voice. Of course, this is my opinion. I wonder what you think about this. Don't forget to write in the comments. Finally, the character of Husk, who I didn't see very effective but caught my attention after learning his life story. This character used to be an overlord I think this was a job related to gambling, but one day while gambling with Alastor he lost his powers and became a slave of Alastor. The husk who sold his soul lost all his powers. This information was actually given to me by a follower on my discord server. He said that in the pilot episode 4 years ago, in the 22nd minute and 54 seconds, husk had wings and a hat and they showed the part where he lost his soul. I agreed with his theory when I looked at it, honestly I felt sorry for this character situation, but I felt a click of fear towards Alastor. I think if you've watched this far, it means you liked my video. You can subscribe to my channel, express your opinions in the comments and like the video to support me. See you in the next video, take care of yourself, goodbye.